What does a chimpanzee thinks about when he is sitting alone with a full stomach watching the sunset on a large tree in the Amazon rainforest? He's not thinking about the ins and outs of the quantum entanglement or his favorite Kardashian or why did India perform so bad in the finals of the World Cup? All they ever think of is food, sex, family and sometimes how to stop his own eldest son who is trying to steal his wife. But that's it. That's their world. That's where it starts and ends. There are some areas in which chimpanzees are better than us such as this stupid game. And they are far more stronger than us. When it comes to body strength, a chimpanzee would eat you for breakfast. And I mean literally because they eat meat as well. Humans and chimps share 98.8% of their DNA. With just 1.2% of a difference, we have launched James Webb Space Telescope, reached the interstellar space, collected samples from asteroids billions of kilometers away, landed on the moon, committed genocide. You get the point, with just 1.2% difference in our DNA, our scope of imagination and our ability to do things is bigger than the Simpsons. Now think about an alien species just 6% smarter than us. The difference between us and the aliens would be 5 times the difference between us and the chimpanzees. We would be for them what a piece of rock is for a chimpanzee. Completely useless unless you want to throw it at the eldest son. They would teach calculus and quantum mechanics in the nursery class. Their kids would be smarter than Neil Tyson even before they learn to walk. While we are freaking out with the self-driving cars, they would be teleporting between galaxies. They would have the potential to populate or depopulate an entire galaxy. While we are busy arguing whether Pluto is a planet, they would discuss puncturing the fabric of space and time to reach new dimensions on a coffee break while we are busy deciding whether or not to buy the microwave that plays music. For them, we would be half as useful as this orangutan blowing you a kiss. Now you can say that the chances of such highly intelligent alien species would be near zero. Because if they did exist, why have we not seen them? Why don't they visit us? Well, maybe they do exist and they have visited us. But all they could saw was a bunch of people trying to stack pieces of stones to build some shiny pyramids. They have decided to leave us alone as an experiment to see how long before we blow ourselves up or create a virus that hits the restart button on all life on earth. Just like we have left the chimps in the forest, neither they are of any use to us nor their intelligence will transcend ours in the foreseeable future. So why bother?